Hey, it's your reigning supreme, the Dog Queen, and welcome back to my channel. Cause I'm the fucking supreme. So today we are continuing our Mermaid High reviews. I don't know why I said that so sultry, but whatever. So we got the same box as Miss Oceana, except instead of a purple, it is like this teal color. So very pretty, the watch on YouTube kids app thing. It's, I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. Uh, then we have Mari right here on the side, which like I said, I love this artwork so much. She's really pretty. And then on the side, there's her as a Miss Mermaid. I love this artwork, it's so pretty. And then on the back, we got the splash in for fashion, kind of Bratz ripoff type thing. Finley, Ciara, and Oceana are the other ones in the series that you can get. And then there is the little bio. And then Shell opens surprise inside. I was like, waddle, whatever. So yeah, that's it for her box. Let's get this bitch open. All right, and I got her unboxed. But I did forget to bring a stand over here, so we'll just do without it. Um, first impressions are that I really like her. Like, she looks so cool. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but her lips are like neon pink. And normally people don't like that, but I mean, I think it's cool, especially against the purple hair. Definitely a cool little thing. Uh, she does have like long, almost straight purple hair. It's like a little, a little bit curled at the bottom. And then she has bangs, which are so crispy. Like, listen to that. Which I hate crispy bangs, so I will definitely wash that out. Uh, then she has a little like tentacle crown that's attached to her head. But I will take it off and use it as a headband because as, as you can see it doesn't go all the way like doesn't loop all the way around because on her art it shows it as a headband so I'll definitely turn it to a headband because I love a good headband uh, then she does have uh, three bracelets right here that are just together and painted I don't know why I started right there but I did uh, since we're on jewelry she does come with a silver little choker with a pink star right there. Then her top is pleather, a blue pleather material with mesh up here and then like separate suspender straps with like studs. And then if we go into like her face, she does have eyebrows, don't worry, they're there. And then just some purple makeup and blue eyes. And she has one of my uh, favorite face ups her and Oceana got the better eyes. I really, I do like Finley, but I don't think she got the good eyes. It's like two different styles of eyes, it's weird. Um, and then her tail is really cool. It is like this indigo and blue and purple tail that's all like a gradient and then it has like this cage-like effect on it and has like all these sparkles on it along with the scale detailings so really cool really cool and then she has this uh, little chain it's really flexible really gummy plastic and it's like sewn on right here which you can remove it with a little clasp in the back but I'm just gonna leave that sewn on bit sewn on I mean the chains do have a lock on it too and then if we go on to her fin, it has this like iridescent purple, papery feeling material, and then a purple tool, and then a black tool at the bottom. So it ends up looking really cool, but I don't like the sound of that. Or, I mean, I don't mind it, but like, you know, I think you know what I mean. I don't really like the sound of like paper passing as fabric, but you can still get the cute little ruffling of the tail. Now, let's see what she came with. Miss Mari. 
All right, so she comes with a little indigo comb, which would probably work pretty well on her since she just has straight hair. Uh, and then she comes with these cool little circle sunglasses with little spikes right here. And she has a little octopus right here that is black and then octopus tentacles that are black. So I actually really like these, these are cool. Uh, then she comes with her purple shoes, which are unpainted, but do have like a little shiny effect to them. Uh, they do have buckles on them and uh, scales all around. And these kind of look like a little bit like platform demonias, but with that little cutout. I don't know, it's like almost there, but not exactly, but I'm living for it. And then she comes with a, a little pleather skirt with little octopus tentacles in blue and purple. And then she has safety pins printed over here. And it's all the way around. It does not stop like Miss Oceana. And then over here, she has like a little weaved area that has black, blue, and purple. Really cool, I'm actually really liking her. And then she did, at the bottom of the box, she did come with some black socks with pink stripes on them. And then she comes with the coolest purse, which is supposed to look like pleather and it's a little squishy. There's a little octopus tail right here for the handle, a little fake zipper, and then the rest looks like pleather. This doesn't open, but it has like a skeleton mermaid on it, which is so fucking cool and then she comes with her little student ID where we have a picture of Mari and see it's like worn as a headband so I'm gonna use it as a headband uh, and then it is in her like teal color uh, her merch style is metal and mesh her fave school subject is math so she's a little bit of a nerd and then favorite food is squid ink pasta Sounds gross. Her pet is uh, my sea urchin, Sharkira. I love that. Shakira, Shakira. I'm on tonight, her hips don't lie, it's done to feel I know I sound like Kermit, I love it. Uh, her mer power is hypnotic vocals. So I don't know if that's just like, she's really good at singing or she can hypnotize you with her singing. I don't know. Her favorite color is dark purple. We see that. And then her ocean cash phrase is new shell found who dis, which doesn't sound like her at all. And then there's the art on the back. And then we, she comes with a uh, gray shell. Oh my God, I'm just dropping everything, I guess. But she was kind of a gray shell. And there's a button right here, but it's really hard to push. So I'm thinking that they put something in there. So you have to put it in water for it to, like, for you to be able to push it. Wow, <laughs> I cannot hold this. But I'm just gonna try and pry it open. Not that hard. So there's her little bag. And the shell itself is a gray, like, swirly looking uh, laptop with her right there and Oceana over there. So, we love that. It looks like they're listening to music. Okay. So yeah. I do like hers the most so far because you know like gray is a normal laptop color. So it looks the most like a laptop. Now for this, just tear open right there. And she comes with, ooh. She comes with shark tooth earrings. That's actually really cool. So, so far, I like her a lot more than Oceana. Sorry, girl. All right, so I'm gonna put her in her human outfit and I'll be right back. Like, wait, why is she iconic? I, I love her actually so much. So you can actually see her eyes through the sunglasses in person. I don't know, you can barely on camera, but you can in person. She's just, like, look how cool she looks. Like, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love her. She's great. 
great, great, great. Definitely better than Oceana, who I still really like. So I was definitely not expecting to like these dolls as much. Like I was expecting like, ooh, cool little gimmick, but these are like, like, mm, these look so cool, actually. <laughs> but I really, really like these. Like these are so cool. I love the skirt. The printing is so cool. Her top is cute, her sunglasses. I'm normally not a fan of circle sunglasses, <clears throat> Bella, but I really like these. Especially since they made it a little more interesting. Her shark tooth hoop neck, hoop, I was about to say necklaces. <laughs> no, her earrings, so cute. I love the choker. The bracelets are awesome. Like I don't mind if they're all three stuck together, uh, just as long as they're painted separately, which they are. The purse is iconic. The little headband, I know as soon as I fix it, I'm gonna love her even more. The socks and shoes are just a serve. Like, she's honestly just everything. And this is her without her sunglasses. Which is still such a serve. I love her a lot, actually. And then the laptop is also matches her really well. Like I would have expected them to give her a purple one, but they gave her a silver one. And then her tail looks so cool too. I love this doll so much. Like she's so cool. All right, enough about me like being gagged about Ms. Mari. We gotta get into her articulation. So she has a ball joint at the head, but I don't know, you can get a little tilt, but it's not the most. Uh, then she has a ball joint at the shoulder, so she can go like all around and out. And then she has a bend and swivel at the elbow. Nothing at the wrist, unfortunately, because honestly, wrist articulation changes everything. Uh, then she does have the ball jointed hip, and then she does have a bend in is it a swivel? Ugh, oh, yes, it is a bend and swivel at the knee. So, she is all good. Has all that articulation. Which, of course, wrist articulation would have been appreciated. But, you can still get some pretty decent poses without it. Uh, uh, I just love her so much. She's so cute. And it makes me so sad because they came out with a spring break line which I actually want the Ciara from that line, but I also really like the Finley and Oceana as well. And they replaced Mari with a, a random bitch called Rainia, and she's this cringy gamer bitch. And I'm like, I don't care about you. Give me my goth girl. Give me my goth punk girl back. So Mari did not get a spring break doll, unfortunately. Like I would have been, I feel like it would have been better to just have five and have all four of them plus Rainia. You know, but they just left her out. And like, there are leaks for future lines and Mari is just nowhere to be seen. And I'm like, girl, Mari is supposed to be a main character and she's like, only has one release. So as you can see, very frustrated that Miss Girl does not appear in more of these. Now, her Honestly, her whole vibe, I don't know why, but with like the whole bang situation, it kind of, she kind of reminds me of Musa from Winx. I never had a Winx doll, wish I did, because uh, I'm actually watching it right now. And Musa and Aisha are iconic. And then Tecna is also really nice, and I also really like Roxy. Just saying. But Musa and Aisha are my bitches. So, I'm gonna keep rambling if I don't end it right now. So, uh, okay, I got her for 20 bucks at Target, by the way. Um, so, from your reigning supreme, I grant you a wonderful, glorious, fantabulous day. Toodles!